What if I told you one oil decision you make today can quietly determine whether your engine dies around 120,000 miles or cruises past 400,000? Same car, same engine, same driver. Three oils, 0W20, 5W30, and 5W40. And here's the uncomfortable truth most owners never hear. The oil stamped all over owner's manuals did not win. In real-world engine testing, one viscosity ran hotter, sheared faster, and produced measurably higher wear metals, even though it's officially approved. Today, we're not debating opinions or brand loyalty. We're breaking down oil analysis data, thermal behavior, viscosity stability, wear patterns, and long-term protection. By the end, you'll know exactly which oil quietly sacrifices engine life for fuel economy and which one actually protects metal over time. Stay with me, because the final result surprised even seasoned mechanics. Section 1. Why this test matters more than you think. Look, if you've ever searched engine oil online, you've seen the same recycled arguments. Thinner oil equals efficiency. Thicker oil equals protection. Just follow the manual and stop overthinking it. Here's what no one explains clearly. Owner's manuals are written for regulatory compliance, not maximum longevity. They're optimized for emissions testing cycles, fuel economy targets, warranty averages, and certification standards. They are not written for heat soak in traffic, extended highway poles, high mileage wear, or real-world driving abuse. So instead of arguing theory, we measured what actually happens inside the engine when viscosity changes. Section 2. The engine we used. No tricks, no bias. To keep this honest, we used a modern naturally aspirated four-cylinder with tight factory tolerances and direct injection. No turbo advantage, no worn-out test mule. Same driving conditions, same fuel, same oil filters, identical oil change intervals. The only variable was viscosity. Phase 1 ran 0W20 full synthetic. Phase 2 ran 5W30 full synthetic. Phase 3 ran 5W40 full synthetic. Each oil stayed in service for 7,500 miles with used oil analysis, temperature logging, and internal wear inspection. No marketing, just data. Section 3. Why these three oils behave so differently. Before you see results, you need to understand what viscosity actually controls. 0W20 is ultra-thin at operating temperature. Lower surface tension reduces friction and improves fuel economy by roughly half to one mile per gallon. But thinner oil means a thinner hydrodynamic oil film and less margin under feet and load. 5W30 increases film strength at operating temperature while still flowing efficiently. It's historically been the durability sweet spot. 5W40 carries the highest high temperature viscosity, stronger shear stability, and better resistance to thermal breakdown. Each oil trades something away. The real question is which trade-off protects engines in daily use. Section 4. Phase 1 Results. 0W20, the manufacturer favorite. Let's start with what 0W20 did right. Cold start lubrication was fast. Internal friction was lowest. Fuel economy improved by about 0.7 miles per gallon. On paper, that looks like a win. Inside the engine, the story changed. Oil temperatures averaged 8 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit higher. Viscosity dropped by 13% by the end of the interval. Used oil analysis showed elevated iron and aluminum wear metals. Not catastrophic, but consistently higher. Valve train inspection revealed early varnish formation and faster oil darkening. After shutdown, residual oil film was noticeably thinner. Mechanic note, this oil works, but it works at its limit. Section 5, the hidden problem with 0W20. Here's the part no one likes to say out loud. 0W20 has the smallest safety margin. Under heat, load, and shear stress, it degrades faster. In stop-and-go traffic, long highway drives, or hot climates, the oil film thins sooner and protection drops earlier in the interval. This doesn't kill engines quickly. It shortens their lifespan quietly, mile after mile. Section 6, Phase 2 Results, 5W30, the middle ground. Switching to 5W30 changed things immediately. Oil temperatures dropped between 6 and 9 degrees Fahrenheit. 
viscosity loss stayed under 5%. Wear metals dropped by 35 to 40% compared to 0W20. That's lab data, not opinion. Internally, bearings stayed cleaner. Cam lobes showed stronger oil film retention. Varnish formation slowed dramatically. Fuel economy dropped just 0.3 miles per gallon. That's pocket change compared to reduced wear.